Okay, our friend Rob Pirog here at Smuggler's Notch Sterling Base is uh, working, on, working on my edge a little bit, right Rob? Yep. Okay, and you're doing it uh, by hand, by eye. We think it's a, a 90 degree edge. Yep. And what are you feeling there? I'm feeling that we're actually just taking a little bit of a layer off. If anything, we're just polishing the rust out, giving in, giving a little buff to the uh, the sharpness. Good, we like that, because yep. that, that helps us when it's a little bit icy out, right? Especially here on the East Coast. <laughs> so you're using the hand file instead of the one with the guide that we looked at before, because we're not sure if this has a one degree uh, uh, angle on it. Right. So you're just going to follow the, the angle that's already there. Yep. Okay. So this is a 12 inch mill bastard file. You're taking the, um, what do you call it, the little loose grinding things out of there? Yeah, just getting any extra shavings off, plus it's been in my tuning box for a little bit, so there's a little wax in there, so we just clean it up a little bit so it'll pull the stuff out nicer. Okay. So, and then just as far as how we put it on, we go at an angle with it. We never want to go like that, just because it gives the best pull against the, uh, the base of the board. And we go from... Tip to tail. Tip to tail. So you're testing it with your fingernail rob to see if it's sharp? Yeah, if it shaves off a layer on the fingernail. Show us, show us what your fingernail looks like. <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got some white dust on your nail. That means the edge is sharp. Yep. Okay, we're dripping some wax on. It's uh, red wax for 10 to 30 degrees air temperature. Uh, it's best to have the board warm and dry. That means not ridden so far uh, today when you do this process. And you see we have good ventilation because it can be toxic, right? Yep. And you said you have the iron set at uh, about two settings down from the top for this wax. Yep. Harder wax would need a higher setting. So how much wax is the right amount to drip on there, Rob? Uh, I tend to, well, I tend to. I put a lot on. People say I overdo it. The reason I do that though is just because it's like a good moisturizer for the base of your board. When you have a thick coating on there, it's going to help. As you heat it up, it's going to pull dirt and such out of the, the uh, structure of the base. But we're also going to get a good solid coating on there. So how much wax do you want to smear on there? The ideal is you want to have at least enough so that you have a coating from edge to edge. Like right there, you can still see I haven't got that over. Mm -hmm. But as I heat this and spread it out, you'll notice the difference between you've got this white stuff where it's kind of dry, and then as it gets the wax into it, that color is going to start popping. It's going to look a little more vibrant just because it's getting some moisturizer in it. Yeah, it sure does. It's like dry skin. Right. So it's pretty much all spread out now. Yep, basically what I've done is I've spread it all out, and then I work it from tip to tail just because uh, I don't know if it's a mental thing for me or if it really helps with going with the grain of the ride, but stuff off here while it's still warm and easy to get. And you like to do the tip and tail first because they're a little harder to get at. Right? Yeah, just the, the curve in here. Some people don't wax all the way up in here just because where your real contact points are kind of here to here where you have the real sliding surface. I just find for overall health of the base. Put in that, you know, filling that in with some wax is a good job for us. And with those tricks you do, you probably use that part of the board too, right? I do, I do. <laughs> I'm just giving it the final, giving things the final shave down right now. You might notice that you can see a little bit of red right in here. That's just because it's a little bit deeper in there because the binding screws are pulling that base in some. So we just give that a little extra scrape. Okay, we like to leave a little more wax on the snow surface part of the board. Yeah, just it lasts longer for you, gives you more sliding. Okay, normally we would let the board uh, sit and mature and ripen for uh, how long? Yeah, half hour to an hour. Okay, but we're gonna just take it out because. Yeah, that's we're not gonna put it right down on the base while it's warm, so we're gonna let it sit outside just to kind of acclimate a little bit. Then uh, we'll get right on it. Now with this. Scotch-Brite uh, yep, pad just, from the grocery store? Yep, exactly. 
So I think the best one to use is the brown one because um, they don't have any sort of treatment on them. But I just take that and rub it kind of up and down, back and forth like this initially to help smooth everything out, give the base a little texture. And then just rub it tip to tail. And some people use a horsehair brush to give it a real textured base. Yep. But we're using the poor man's horsehair brush. Works almost as well. <laughs> so we're, we're assuming that this is an extruded base because it's not black versus a sintered base. The sintered base is the more high-end one and it has the, uh, what, the structure built right into it? Yep. Okay, but a shop can what? Yeah, shop with their, if they have a good grind right machine or whatever it is that they're using, the stone that they have there will have a structure on it that could put that into the base for you. Just with the softer bases, it's going to wear out after a while versus the centered bases, which will hold better. Okay. Thanks, Rob. You're welcome.